We're back, and the solar eclipse just happened. We live in New Jersey. It literally just happened, uh, what, maybe 40 minutes ago? Yeah, like 30, 40 minutes ago. We walked outside. We saw absolutely nothing. Yeah. It just got a little <laughs> bit dim. The most exciting part was you got stung by a bee during the solar eclipse. I think you might have been yeah. the only person of all time to actually yeah. have that I happen think I, I think I am. I walked outside because I wanted to see it. I walked onto the grass, and I was going to say to you that I'm grounding. You're grounding? Yeah, I'm grounding myself with the eclipse. <laughs> you really pulling up the but energy from the earth? Is that what I got it is? stung by a bee on my foot. What Should is I grounding? show my foot? No. No, don't show it's your not free. foot. We're not, it's yeah, not free. That's on our OnlyFans. Subscribe. No, we don't, we don't have one. We I don't, mean, have, we don't have an OnlyFans. We don't have an OnlyFans. Okay, so my first topic, it's about food. We've been on a food train. We just had our first live podcast ever at Virgil's Real Barbecue in New York City in Times Square. And now we're talking about food. I've, food has just been on my mind. I like the taste testing. That was fun. If you had to get rid of five fast food restaurants, which are you choosing? Five fast food restaurants. Yeah, so you brought this topic up with states last week. Yeah. I'm bringing it up with fast food restaurants. Oh. Now I have my five, but I want to hear what you have to say. I'm try- like, like, I know who you're going to pick first. Do you? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a healthy place. Is that a healthy um, place? No, just bad fast food. How about uh, why would you need? Why do you about, need it? How about Arby's? That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> yeah, that's on they, top of my list too. All they have is the meats. They don't oh. have anything else. They have good fries. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. Is that who you actually thought I was gonna take? Yes, it's number one okay. on my list. Okay. I swear to God. Arby's. Arby's. Okay. Who else would you get rid of? My mind. You could pull up a list if you want. Of fast food uh, restaurants. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, my mind goes to a place that like, uh, like if they're oversaturated. That's exactly where mine right? is. What I'm thinking like, like McDonald's and all those like type of genre. So yeah. I'm keeping McDonald's and Wendy's. Okay. Burger King. What's is there one that's like similar? Not really. I mean, I love all three of those. So yeah. I ca- I would keep all of those because why not? There's so many fast food restaurants that just aren't that good. I think. I'm getting rid of Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. <laughs> I went even lower on the totem pole. I went got rid of Little Caesars. Oh, you know what? Papa John's. See you later. Papa John's isn't that bad. No. Papa John's is Papa John's pizza. is not that bad. Pizza Hut still has the cheesy bread, right? What about Little Caesars? Little Caesars? Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, You're pizza. You're keeping them for that? Um, Just for the saying. I don't like Papa John's. All yes, right. just for the slogan. Get slog- Papa John's for out. For the slogan, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Little Get Caesars. Get Papa John's out. I've That's never two. had it. I can't, I can't knock it if I've never had it. Yeah, I've never had it either, but it just doesn't seem great. I could go without Quiznos. Okay. I don't need That's Quiznos. fine. <laughs> I went with a sandwich place too. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to switch it to Quiznos. Okay. I just went with Jimmy John's. Jimmy but John's? their delivery. Did you know their delivery? I don't know. It has to get there within 10 minutes of the order, I think. Really? And they ride on bike. Or 30 minutes. I'm going to say it's probably, yeah, 30. It's probably 30. 30. 10 minutes would be like a record I would get delivery. rid of Quiznos too. Yeah. Mm. So let's get rid of Quiznos. I like where I'm at right now. What about Long John Silver? That's I got rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is a pretty spot on list here. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, I got rid of Long John Silver. Never had more? it. Never want to have it. I have one more left. I have one more. I'm thinking now in the in the Chipotle market. Wow. Me too. Uh, are you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like Chipotle and Cadoba. Cadoba free oh. queso. What other burrito places are there? Just say it. I know oh. what you're gonna say. Babacoos. Yep. That's what I got rid of. Babacoos. That's pretty spot on. <laughs> that's Look, I literally wrote it. Arby's, Babacoos, Little Caesars, Jimmy John's, Long John Silver's. Yeah. But we'll change Jimmy John's to Quiznos and Little Caesars to Pizza Hut because you don't like pizza for some reason. No, 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 no. Papa John's. Papa John's. Papa John's. Papa John's. Let's make let's make sure that's clear. We are. Uh, we switched sides of the desk. Yeah. If you didn't notice, we got you. Pranked you. Pranked you. We got you. Um, April Fools. So pe- on April eighth. Uh, day of solar eclipse is the April day of month. jokes. Um, yeah. People who are listening to the audio, they have no idea. Yeah. They have, they have no clue. So yeah. we didn't get you guys, but anybody watching on the live on YouTube yeah. right now. Um, well, yes, let's, we, let's switch back. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't you like You know it. what? I feel I like, like I'm away here. from home over here. <laughs> Me too. I'm back. I'm back, folks. I'm back, folks. I'm so back. Ah. It feels like home. That feels good. That feels so good. Feels right. So good. Yeah. So, uh, well, first, I, I just wanted to go over some things that okay. that's going on with us. Why don't we go over some things um, that's uh, going on with us? Yeah. This Thursday, <laughs> this podcast drops. Uh huh. This Thursday, we have a big, a big meeting. We do have a big which meeting. it's nothing crazy that's going to change with us or happen with us, but mm. we're just meeting a prominent figure in the social in the media. Field. Social media. Yeah, space. we're going to Gary V's office. We DM'd him a year ago in 2023. He answered a year later on in 2024. He said, we see you. We basically sp- asked him to come on the podcast and everything like that. He put a smiley face. He put a smiley face. He said, we see you. And then invited us to the office. He told us to connect with his assistant. I'm assuming that's who it was. Or he's just a good guy. Or just a good guy. Good guy, Zach. Good guy, Zach. He's got a great name. Yep. And uh, 
He invited us to the office. So as this podcast premieres, we would just be coming back from Gary V's office. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to live chat. On we might not back. be able to live chat. So if we're not there on the live chat, I'm sorry, on YouTube. We're in Gary V's office. Yeah, we're, we are currently we're leaving. in. Yeah, or at the Knicks event. We're at the Knicks event. We have a big we Knicks got event two, after. Is that another thing you're going to bring up? Yeah, bring it up. Sure. Okay. I mean, we're doing two things with the Knicks. Is two things. Tomorrow, so two days after this podcast airs, we're playing basketball. Hopefully people will see some content that we yes. create um, yes. at an open run yep. that the Knicks are hosting. And then the next Thursday, yep. or this Thursday. Tonight. Tonight, as in the podcast <laughs> listeners, tonight. Thursday, April 11th. Yeah, we're live watching the Celtics game with fans. So yes. big Knicks week, big Gary V week. Big Gary V week. I don't know what else up. We and got, then next week is the that. Rangers game. We oh, we Rangers got the Rangers game, game on we'll Monday. The we're going to be back. So I if you guys are going to be at the Rangers game, see us. So, some people message us. Um, and some I of my it. friends text me now. They're like, are you and Brian going to be at the Rangers game? I'm like, we don't go to every Rangers We've game. We've been going to a lot, though. We have been going a lot. Um, thank you, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah, so those are all the updates I have. I think those are all the and updates. We just want to keep you guys informed. Since we're full-time now, we want to keep you more in the loop. We're in trying, loop. yeah. How's the full-time experience been for you so far? It's good. It's That's been good. going pretty good. It's been going no pretty complaints. good. I, I wanted- we haven't fully gotten into it yet. Like yeah. this, this past week has been a little weird. It was my birthday. You had just got back for your trip. I feel like this is the first real week of full time because Zach was away for two weeks and then I, I was doing all makeshift stuff and then now we're back and now this is like the second week which is like the first real week I feel. It's full time focusing on content. Yes. It, ha- it's, it has to be all in. I agree. And that's where we're going to get to and we're already posting more than we have. Yes. Six times a day in shorts. Yep. We're posting a long form video pretty much every single day. Pretty much. I know yeah. the, the week that you're watching this, we I think we posted every single day. Yeah, and we're gonna start stacking videos, so we'll have more for the future oh, for you guys. I can't wait. Like this week, we should have like one stacked by next week. Yeah, at and least, then, at least. And we'll it's good. There's gonna be a lot of effects. content coming out. We're super excited. Um, and keep supporting because we need yeah. you to keep liking. And also, <laughs> big uh, big Rolling Loud vlog is out right now. It aired two days ago. Yeah. Uh, go check that out on the YouTube channel. Just so, I feel like it's like almost overwhelming. I, yeah. I looked into, so we have a Discord set up, but we don't, it's oh. not running. It's set up. It's there, yeah. but it's not running. Um, we'll talk after this podcast. We got a lot to talk through okay. um, in terms of potential things that we got going on. But uh, I want to ask you a question. We started this debate a little bit at the Virgil's podcast recording. Okay. Have you ever peed in the pool before? So don't lie to me. <laughs> so first of all, don't lie. First of all, you said you've never peed in the pool, which is a straight up lie. That's not a lie. Yes, it I've is. I've never Yet, done it. Pause. Yes, it is. No, because don't when say you when were I was a baby, you definitely peed in the pool. I peed in the kiddie pool. Second I never of all, peed in an actual second pool. of all, you 100% have peed in a pool. Before. There's no way. When, when have did you? you? Peed, have you peed at our beach pool? That doesn't count. Our, oh, oh, <laughs> it is a pool. They fill it, it with the pool. ocean. They fill it with the ocean. I'm talking chlorine pools. I'm sure I have. Salt I don't do it like, pool. I don't go out of my way to go pee in pools, but I'm sure that I have peed in a pool before. 19% of adults admitted to having urinated in a swimming pool at least once. I think that 79% of adults are lying. That's only <laughs> the people who admitted it. I don't do it. What Listen, kind of, did you say 79? Yeah, 81. 81. 81. 81. Bad math. <laughs> um, I think that a lot of people are lying because you, even if you don't consciously do it, I'm sure that you've peed like subconsciously. Maybe like once. let a little out. Yeah. Maybe I still let counts. a little out. I don't think that counts. That counts? I'm talking like fully p- like pissed in the pool. Um, I have some other stats around it. Do you want to hear them? Sure. Urine was detected in 100% of pool samples tested so then by there's scientists. there's no way. By scientists. There's no way 19% of people have peed in pools. <laughs> I know. It's, a, it's 100% of people almost probably. And if you're in a like a fairly large pool that's like 130,000 liters, 75 liters in a large pool are piss. What? That's, you know how, that's like 36. Oh my God. What's the math there? It's like 34 that's and a half. Much. That's too much pee. 32 and a half like two liter bottles of soda that's in the pool. Wait. <laughs> That means that like every person is being in the pool. I mean, no, but it's a very, very small fraction when you think of it in the grand scheme. Seventy-five liters, still eight hundred thirty thousand. Still, I don't understand how like gallons and liters fill up a pool. Like it feels like it should only be like a thousand, but it's oh. like hundreds of thousands yeah, of gallons definitely. that are in pools. It's insane. Um, yeah, <sighs> and those are just the people who admit it. You want to hear a Michael Phelps quote on it? Yeah. Michael Phelps said, and he agreed that it's an acceptable behavior. He said, I think everybody really? pees in the pool. He said, chlorine kills it, so it's not so bad. I mean, that's not inaccurate. That yeah. is what chlorine is there for. Chlorine kills it. It keeps it clean and keeps it sanitary. So you have peed in the pool. 
I just don't like the idea of swimming oh, in piss. Oh, so you didn't say I've no. never peed in oh. the pool. I've never oh. peed in the pool. Oh. I also think girls pee in the pool more than guys. Really? I'm going out there and saying that. Why? Yes. Because of the conversation we had, it seemed like the people we were talking to had a much more passionate reaction about it. <laughs> they said they have. Yeah. Just like girls like laugh when they- are not going to uh, drop names here. No, no. I wouldn't drop a name ever. <laughs> I would never do that. Um, <laughs> girls like- laugh and then they pee themselves right oh true <laughs> it's like true. they could laugh in a pool or that like just actually let it slip i just feel like they do it more often by by accident than guys we have control over it we have bigger bladders bigger bladders we're doing well um all Man, right that well, got me fired up so i wanted to, so i kind of wanted to start this podcast off with something funny but it's too late now because we already started the podcast but what's up brother yeah what's up what's up brother what's up brother what does he say? Special teams. Tuesday. Special play- Tuesday. <laughs> um, I wanted to just make a statement that Sketch is the most famous person in America right now. <laughs> is, yeah, absolutely. Do you agree? He has to be. Yes. He 100% is. And I have like my own made up stats to back it up. But okay. he is. He is. I mean, he's been on so many social media accounts. We're talking about him here. I know. Everyone's that's, so talking about So that's one about of them. Him. He's capitalizing on the fame by going on all these YouTubers' platforms. Steve will do it. Bradley Martin. Jinxie. We're talking about him. Yeah. FaZe Rug just had him on. There's a million people that are trying to reach out to, to Sketch right now and get him on, including us. So Sketch, if you want to come on, you're more than welcome. Um, two, he's hanging out with the Houston Texans. Yeah. CJ Stroud. Yeah. Stefan Diggs now. People on the PGA Tour, people celebrating in the NCAA championship. In the MLB, Bryce oh. Harper's new celebration. The Philly celebration is that. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's on board. Teachers in the country are starting their class by saying, what? what's up, brother? What gets people to... What's up, brother? Hop on that train. He just seems like such a likable guy. <laughs> he's just hes just that guy. He's you, him. You just want to be around him. I you really want, want to be just there. hang yeah. out with him. Also, he's like our age. Yeah. I thought he was younger. No. He's like 25. He's having a run like some people that... Like Tiger from those yeah. 10 years. <laughs> it's t- the most dominant <laughs> yeah. run in sports history. The most Sketch dominant. Sketch is having it in the streaming. Social media. Social media landscape. Yeah. And oh. then pro coaches are saying his quotes. Just everybody's talking about it. I wouldn't be surprised if Joe Biden started saying it. I'm going to... you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Donald Trump reached out to Sketch <laughs> yeah. and had him at his rally. Yeah, you think so? I would not be surprised. <laughs> I might... I So this is the first time I'm ever going to do this. I'm taking a segment that we film after this in what we call game time. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm bringing it in. Do it. It's on topic. It's on brand. Do I'm going to do it. All right, Brian. Rank these viral characters without knowing who comes next. Sketch. So people who one. have... Spe- <laughs> Sketch. No, number one. Number one. I I seriously think that he's my favorite like social media person that I have seen in my entire life. Really? Yeah. Why? I'm blazing what? right now. <laughs> yeah, you really are. You're I just like, think he's so funny. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> oh, but if you say somebody else, I might. Oh, you're going to say know. him, aren't you? I don't you? know. I don't know. I'm going to go first. first Should I I'm put him s- at two? Do whatever you want to do. I, I don't know. I'm putting him. Sketch at two. You're putting Sketch at two. You're moving him down. I'm moving him down to two. Who knows if I included who you're talking about? You definitely did. I know you did. Sigh. Gangnam style. Gangnam style. Gangnam style. Uh, that he, guy had a run. He did have a he run. He had a fantastic run. One of the most... One of the most watched YouTube videos of all time, I think, is Gangnam Style. Yeah. Uh, four. Or at least music videos. Four. Music he, videos? There wasn't much personality outside of the song, I feel. So I'm putting he's four. He's still killing it. Four. He's still, he's jumping off, st- uh, like, out of. In Korea, though. Yeah. Not here. But from the ground launching yeah, up. That. He's, he's very cool. Um, Salt Bay. Five. That was lame. That was I don't know that. what you want me to do. He just uh, had, no, he had a just run. I'm saying. It was very, I just didn't, it was fine. There Guy all, doesn't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> he did, I don't think he deserved it. There's not, but now everybody's doing it. What What if I replace Salt Bay? You want me to replace him? No, leave it. Okay, leave it. Hasbula. One. One. That's who I knew you were going to say. <laughs> you knew he's he was number coming. one. I crack up at him. He's just hilarious. I want he's Sketch so and Hasbula collab. That would break the internet. It would break the internet. If Hasbula started doing the, the signs, <laughs> oh doesn't. my God. Forget I it. I would love it. All right, last one. Yeah. Ken Bone. Oh, yeah. Do you remember Ken Bone? That's a perfect list. He was the number tw- three. He was in the debates at That's the uh, so 2016 good. presidential uh, debates. We had a, <laughs> in college, we had a mattress race. They do mattress races and you have to customize your mattress. Okay. And we customize it to look like a podium and we dress somebody up like Ken Bone and we sent them down <laughs> College <laughs> Avenue at Rutgers. That's <laughs> unbelievable. It was so funny. 
<laughs> oh my god oh, that, that's good yeah that's good ken right. bone at three perfect list all right i brought it in i had to do it some no. things have to be done and i did it i love it okay so i'm still just on this food thing food can't it just doesn't leave my mind it doesn't leave virgil's is so good um all right so i saw this video that uh the center from nc state i forget his name okay they made the final four. He became this big star now. He's huge. Oh, he owns no. vending machines. He owns, he owns his machines? own vending machines as like a side gig and like fills them up and sells them. So they asked him to fill his dream vending machine with five snacks. Oh, fill up your dream vending machine with five snacks. This is the hardest thing you've ever asked yeah, me to do. So it has to be vending machine snacks. Not you can't just throw like Kraft mac and cheese in there. Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't? I know you would. Why wouldn't? I know you would. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have to look up some some inspiration here. I mean, I just think about going back to high school and getting snacks after basketball, after football practice. Duh. Say it. No. Do you Say it. The the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cereal Bar. Oh, do that's you remember such that one? a good pull. Well, you just took me back to that era. I, mean, I, I agree. You know what I'm pairing with it, and this is what you wanted me to say. Cinnamon bun. It's, can, I, can I throw drinks in there or no? <laughs> no, no drinks. No drinks. <laughs> All right, no drinks. No I was going to say you who. Okay. Yoo-hoo with the no okay okay no okay so I thought you were gonna say the honey bun, you remember the honey bun? No, I used to rip that. Thing I was apart. never a honey bun guy. You wouldn't put the honey bun in? No. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so he said the center from NC State said that you need some chips in there. Yeah, so I'm right? trying to. You think. always need chips. He said chips are a great seller. So you got the cinnamon toast crunch breakfast bar. I got another one. Let's hear it. All right, this is a niche one. This, I'm very niche. It's fine. Grandma's mini sandwich creams. I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, it's the blue package. It's the white cookies with the little. Oh. The, they're like Oreos. Those we're very good. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, those are like the golden Oreos, but just mini. Very niche and list. Better. Very niche list. I'm going for right now. Well, we went to the same high school, so the, we saw the same vending machines. Yes, yes. So yes. I know what you're talking about. Um, do I put fruit snacks in there? I did. Do I put fruit snacks? I did. All right, fruit snacks. What kind? The the Welch's. Yeah, that's what I put. Yeah. In. Maybe if you're feeling crazy, maybe uh, one of the variety packs. I mean, but, I would love the Scooby Doo fruit snacks, but, but those are but just those too are small. Not, yeah, they're too, too small. small. They're not it. Not it. Um, I feel like you got to go a candy next and a chip, and you got to go a chip. I agree. Um, you got a well-rounded team there, but I do like pretzels. Nah, I can't go pretzels. I you can't could, do. You it. could go like a Chex mix. You could have all of them. Mm, no, I would never get it from it. If I'm this vending machine right here, is staring me in the face, the <laughs> Doritos or Fritos? I would go Doritos. I think but Doritos which are ones? Sweet, sweet, spicy. Chili. I'm going Fritos. What? I'm taking just Fritos. regular Fritos. Regular Fritos. That's gonna lose you some fans. Though. Yeah, probably. It's salty, and I just if I see it, I'm a fan of the packaging. Hmm. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. And then uh, just can I? Oh, do I want a chocolate bar or do I want <sighs> like a fruity thing? You already have the fruit snacks. Okay. Are you going Reese's? A Reese's in vending machines? Yeah. Okay, Reese's. Reese's? Give me Reese's pieces. I don't hate that vending machine. Yeah, uh, the Fritos one was a little bit out there, but the Fritos one. All right. I, I mean, know. I like Fritos. I know you do, but I need a dip with Fritos. You do. I made this. What you do? I made this <laughs> corn street corn dip for Super Bowl when I watched it by myself. Okay. And I <laughs> ate the entire don't, thing with Fritos. Don't, don't just <laughs> don't promote. It wasn't by myself. I was with my girlfriend and my brother. Oh, <laughs> none of my it sounded like, friends. like it just really sounded like I just, it just like when I watched one. it by myself when I was alone. There I was did. no one else there. Well, I was the only one drinking beers, so yeah, I was drinking by myself. But it was fun. I had a good time. <laughs> oh. When you eat bad food, right, mm, or yeah. junk food, sometimes it stirs up your stomach. Okay. Do you wipe with your left hand or your right hand? Why do we have to talk about this? We're talking. No, we're talking about it because there's a whole cultural thing behind. I'm not this. sure. Give this segment. Let a me chance. go through it. What do you mean you're Can not I go sure? Through it? You're not. I just sure? don't know. Go through it. I think I go right. Do you want me to leave private? No, I think I go right. Of course you go right. Of course you have to. No, go yeah, right. I do go right. I go right behind. <laughs> okay. If you go, I didn't need the front. If or you behind. go front, that's crazy. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't need that. Well, well, some, I think girl, now I'm imagining it. I think now girls go front. <laughs> I think it depends. Yeah, because no, <laughs> back. No, they they go back and they go up. You have to go up. <laughs> okay. Because yeah, you, no, you, you can't be pushing down. stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do know. You're talking about Sometimes it. Sometimes I give an up down. Okay. All right. Um, what hand do you eat with? 
<laughs> Thank God that was that was. There's more to this. Oh no, it comes back. Oh. It's full circle. What hand do I eat with? What I hand eat, do you eat with? I eat with my right hand. Okay, now now here's the lesson. Here. But then I wash my hand after I wipe. Which so. is yes, that's what you that's have. The to do. lesson? No, no. I didn't I'm think you had to teach no, people I'm to wash your hand. You're not letting me get to it. <laughs> In some cultures, it's considered impolite and unsanitary to eat with your left hand because the left hand became known as the unclean hand. So in cultures, like I'm talking overseas, India specifically also, I I believe, and don't quote me on that, um, they wipe with their left hand. And then when you shake people's hands and everything, this is considered your clean hand. But there's toilet paper. And there's there is soap paper. and water. Yes, there is. I don't but think I'm that just that's t- a problem. Yeah, it's maybe it's not a problem, but I'm I'm just telling you culturally, I'm trying to educate you. My girlfriend and her parents get on me when we talk about this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, they're like, "Why do you do <laughs> no, this?" Well, the left like, hand. I don't bring it up. You bring it up. The left hand is for personal hygiene, and the right hand you used to eat, shake hands, etc. So, are so you-, you could actually insult someone if you're in a different country and you you eat with your left hand, or you have to like. So even the lefties use their right hand. So are you saying we have to switch that? Well, because so, someone told someone. My girlfriend told me when <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend told me when someone. we were in Spain. She said some cultures don't eat with their left hand, and then I've looked it up, and now it's being well, incorporated. I think in that the most people don't eat with their left hand. Think of all the things you do with your right hand. I do everything with my right hand. You brush your teeth. I do everything. With you my eat right food. Hand. Everything. That's the same. I'm a right hand. You wipe with. Yeah, but I wash my hands. I know you wash your hands, but I'm just, you don't. I'm just. I know what? If I go num- huh? numero, if I go numero dos, I'm wiping. I would. Oh wait, I, of course I'm wiping. I'm washing. <laughs> I'm washing. <laughs> I'm washing. I'm washing. Oh, you wild man. You have to. Um, yeah, just want to get educated because you know what? We're trying to be more cultured here and understand. So this one's pretty fun since you're talking about cultural things. Mm. This is cultural. Okay. Which country is hated for these things? So. General population, apparently a percentage of people hate these countries for these specific things. I want you to try to guess the country. Oh, okay. okay. I love it. Bad food. Bad food? Which country is hated for having bad food? 45% of people hate this country because of bad food. I'm going to go America. No. Because people think it's unhealthy. No. No? No. America has better food than this country, apparently. What about France? No. People like French food? India. French food is good. No, no, I no. Mean, People like know. Indian food. I don't know. Food. I don't know. Think about the country where there's not much food that's culturally from there. Like Mexico. Obviously yeah. Mexican yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. France has French food. Um, yeah, of course. Russia. No. Well, that's a good guess. Right? That's a solid Porridge. guess. Porridge? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. England. England. That makes sense. No, of course I should have known I thought that. you would have got that. Again. Not so cultured. yeah, 45% of people hate England because of their food. Yeah. The shepherd's pie doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. What about arrogance? Arrogance. Which country is known for arrogance? America. No. Really? You're going to guess America for all <laughs> these things. It's, I think a lot of people would, I don't know, agree. Um, arrogance. What about the French? Give You're right. France. Yeah. France. 50% of people hate France for being arrogant. I've never been there, but We're not I've, judging. Heard, I've, this heard, us. I've heard some people are rude there to Americans, which you Ends might up. have a... Yeah, hands are up. The hands are up. You might have a case, but it's fine. All right. What about that all the wildlife wants to kill you? Oh, Australia. Yeah. Yeah, of course it <laughs> that does. That was pretty good. Dude, I watched a Massive video spiders. of a kangaroo the other day. I don't even think it's that. I think it's like the crocodiles, the like the uh, spiders, the yeah. snakes. Well, the kangaroo was like, he was really angry behind this gate. And the owner, I guess the owner... I don't know. Yeah, she was like, she was like, oh, why are you mad? Why are you mad? I'm like, he's not paying attention. Punched him. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't speak English. He doesn't. So yeah, that was Australia. 60% of people hate Australia for the wildlife wanting to kill them. That's crazy. I have another two for you. Okay. Pickpocketing. Now, every single city that I go to, I know everybody's like, watch out for the pickpocketers. Every city. Every city. Yes. It doesn't even matter. I mean, we we live near New York, and I'm sure that people get told that when they come to New York. We just don't because we live here. But I get told it when I go anywhere. Yeah. Chicago? I heard about Spain. Spain? Italy? Oh, was that? Oh, that was my guess. No, Spain's not it. What about Colombia? No. These are the, You're the closer. two places I've been. You're closer. Brazil? No, close. Argentina? Argentina. 86% of people hate Argentina for being known for pickpocketing. I mean, why do people got to do that? What about no freedom of speech? No freedom of speech. That's not America. Yeah, not America. No, not America. Can I get a Russia? No. North Korea? No. Closer. It's another big country over there. Another big country over there. India? No. Close. 
another big, big country countries over there. Uh, <laughs> this is getting bad. What's the one above Russia? No, no. Above Russia? There's Antarctica? Nothing, there's nothing above Wait, Russia. nothing above <laughs> Russia. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping that in. Uh, <laughs> the big country oh, in Asia, Jack. The big country in Asia. China. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's China. 87% of people hate China for no freedom of speech. Makes sense. What about high taxes? America. Take your guess. <laughs> yep. No, nope, it's not America, but I would agree that we do have high taxes. Canada. No. Oh. 89% of people hate this country for their high taxes. Um, I'm going to Europe. Yeah. I'm going to take... I'm going to take... What's your uh, nationality? Oh. Latvia. No, the bigger <laughs> nationality. Italian. Yes. Italy. 89% <laughs> of people hate Italy for high taxes. I can't believe we went Latvia first. I don't know why you did. <laughs> I don't know why you did. Unexploded landmines. Unexploded landmines, <laughs> but they're just around? I mean, they deserve to be hated, if that's a fact. I have no idea. Like Iceland? Greenland? No. no. Uh, Think Middle East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Iran? No. Um, Not, no, sorry. <laughs> Think Africa. <laughs> uh, Africa? North. North. Yeah, yeah. Africa? Egypt? Yes. Okay. Egypt. Apparently, 98% of people hate Egypt for having unexploded landmines, which, me- which makes it seem like there are unexploded landmines there. Which I'd prefer that than them exploding. Well, that means that they could I'd explode. rather them stay unexploded. Yeah, but that means they could explode. I know, I know. I'm trying to justify. What about alcohol addiction? America. Not America. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of these America can fall under. It's oh, not Ireland. No. Oh. This one's kind of a random country in Europe. In Europe? They love alcohol. Turkey. No. Close. Yeah. Um, the other one. Hungary. I, yes. The <laughs> other one. Yes. Seventy five percent of people hate Hungary because of their alcohol addiction. I don't know why they're drinking over there. And what about too many sheep? Why do why does somebody hate a country for having too many sheep? Is that Ireland? No. This one's unjustified though. Unjustified? What's the problem with too many sheep? I twenty five percent of people. Sometimes they get in the way? I guess. Opposite side of the world? What has sheep? Russia. No. <laughs> it's near Australia. Near Australia. Uh, New. Oh, New Zealand? New Zealand. 25% of people hate New Zealand because they have too many sheep. Why? Not a right reason. That's not a right reason Disagree. at all. Disagree. That, that, no one deserves that. Sheep are great. Um, okay. Sheep we are could, friends, not We food. could stick on the topic of location, states. Okay. I feel like our YouTube and Instagram audience love these topics. Oh, yeah. Um this? No, so last week we we did get rid of five states. I jokingly said that we would bring back the segment, and you said we actually should. Yeah, we're bringing it back. So I want you to get rid of another five U.S. states. So if you had to get rid of five more U.S. states, which ones are you picking? You so, already got rid of five. Do you yeah, want me to refresh you? I have you? them listed. Okay. Well, it's Arkansas, North Dakota, Iowa, Kansas, and Indiana. They're gone. Yeah. Let me just pull up a map of the USA. Now, I think some of my picks from the previous week are going to come into this. They might. They might. They, they might have be, to. Though. I think they're next up. They might be next up. You might be right. I kind of like this style of like, this is almost like a bracket. First of all, yeah. great, great series idea. Should we just break it down until we get to one? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's almost like a bracket, but instead you're just removing five yeah, as you go. You're removing five. I, I think I'm going to just do it. <laughs> are you going to do it? Not, not yours. I know you th- have one in your mind. I'm not getting rid of it yet. Why? I'm standing strong with Ohio. Why? I'm I don't standing know, why, strong why, with Ohio. Why are you staying strong? I'm getting with, rid of West Virginia. West Virginia? Get them out. Why? I've been there. Nothing special. Nothing going on? There's actually beautiful scenery in the mountains. But other than that, name a city in West Virginia. Um, Ro, uh, Ro, nope. Morganville. That's <laughs> Morganville? where WVU is. But Really? That's it. Outside of that, there's it's nothing? West Virginia University, and that's it. So that's gone. It's out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out. Gone. Get out! They have a lot of uh, fireworks stores in West Virginia. <laughs> Where's that where I'm going to get their fireworks from? Pennsylvania. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. I might have to do it. You're going to take out Ohio? Nope. Oh. <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota? Mount Rushmore's out of here. Mount Rushmore's gone. It's out of here. We're just taking That's it out. That's it. That's all they got. I'm, That's all they got. I'm sure it's beautiful Name over something there. else. They got rocks Cows. and mountains and hills. I don't know. They got they got things. You're naming got the nature. Uh, Mount Rushmore. That's what you're naming. All right. Yeah, that's out. I feel okay. good about you that. You feel good? You got three more to go. Yeah. All right. Ohio's out. <laughs> Ohio's out. We're taking Ohio's Ohio. Out. I stood strong with Ohio as long as I could, folks. It was as long as I could. I'm serious. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Listen, I had a great run. Maybe next year. It's just going to be that whole area of the country is just going to leave <laughs> first. Oh, man. I got to get rid of two more today? Two more today. Mm. And we'll come back the next podcast. You and we'll can't get again. rid of Illinois this early because of Chicago. You just can't. 
Yeah, no. You just guess, can't. You, you really can't, can't do it. You really can't. I think I have to get rid of this state. I don't want to because of the corn, but I got to get rid of Nebraska. No. You're doing it? I got to do it. Really? So no corn. You don't want any corn? I love corn. Okay. Jack. But I have to get rid of <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> I love corn, Zach. I'm basing, this of, uh, I'm basing this off of like where I would like to live and like where I would like to visit in my life. I've been to Nebraska. You could do whatever Nothing. you want. You've been to Nebraska? Yep. Oh, for uh, Ruck- Rutgers? Yep. Took you there? Nebraska football games. Wow. So I got to get rid of one more. You got one more state you got to get rid of. Just oh, just, man. just dish Alaska out. No one's going to be mad. No. No one's no. going to be mad. No one's gonna Alaska's be beautiful. No the bald one. eagles. It's so far. The whales. <laughs> Snow. No one cares. Just dish it. No, I can't yet. Get it? it might be next round, though. <laughs> right. I can't do it yet. Oh, man. I'm in between a couple. What are you thinking? Which couple? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. You're doing it? Oh. What do you think I'm You're doing? doing it? I have no idea. I have, Should I get rid of Alaska? Minnesota. Minnesota's beautiful. <laughs> Why are you so supportive of these places that have nothing? Oklahoma or Minnesota? Oklahoma's got the... Uh, it's warmer weather. All right. Minnesota's out. <laughs> You're taking Minnesota out? No, no, no. I'm not taking Minnesota out. Oh, what Take it we... back. Wisconsin's out. Wisconsin? Yep. I don't care about the cheese. What about the golf courses? They got there's golf courses golf everywhere. They got whistling straights. You got that's it. Uh, I'm sure, sure there's nice courses that, there. You got rid of Chicken Joe's home. All right, fine. I'm not. Oh, I'm not getting rid of it. Minnesota's out. <laughs> Minnesota's out. <laughs> Minnesota's out. <laughs> You're very easy to convince. I'm sorry. Minnesota's I'm out. So today we got rid of. So today we got rid of Ohio, West We're, Virginia, Nebraska, Minnesota, and South Dakota. And South Dakota it's gone. That's almost the entire middle of the country is out. <laughs> it's just all that. <laughs> I feel really bad. It's That's okay. going to get harder and harder as we it's go. Oh, so much more difficult. We might go all the way down to one. We are. Okay. We are getting okay. down to one. Mm. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't want to do another game yet because I want to save this game for the end. But I did want to bring up a topic. Iowa lost. Caitlin Clark. They mm-hmm. lost. Yes. South Carolina. Yep. Congratulations, South Carolina. Iowa also lost last week when you removed them. They did. They did <laughs> lose then too. Um, could Caitlin Clark play in the NBA? She's six one, I think. You want me to fact check you? How tall is she? She's six foot. I'm taking it. No, she can't. You don't think she can? No. I think that she potentially could. I just think physically, it's a battle. That's the biggest downfall. That's the one big downfall I have is physically, I don't think she could handle it. She could shoot. She can, She has the handles for it. She, she plays like Steph Curry. Yeah. No, she is. If she plays like Steph Curry, Steph Curry doesn't really get physical. Does he? He kind of. He gets more I physical like than you think she Sneakily gets more physical. Yeah. I think she could handle it potentially. If she's a spot up shooter. Spot up shooter. Well, okay. So if she's uh, a Steve Novak. I initially went into this thinking like, okay, it's, it's, translating her game now into the oh, no. NBA, which no, I don't no, think no. it, I don't think no, that no, works. No. I, I don't think, think she, she, would, be she would thrive as a spot up shooter because one, she has a better shooting percentage than majority of the NBA. Ball's a little smaller. Yeah, but she, I'm sure she could get used to yeah, it. Yeah. That was like Sabrina Iescu in the three point contest. She yes. used the men's ball. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. And she killed so I'm it, sure right? she could yeah, get yeah. used she to it. She could get used to it. It's a little further. Yeah. I think she could do it. I'm trying to think like the player comp that I would give her. You said like Steve Novak? No, no, no. She wouldn't. I, that's like a downgrade, I think. Yeah. She's better than Steve Novak, I think. I just think she would have a tough time creating her shots. So I Why? Because she's so short? I just We've think, seen six foot players. I just think physically it doesn't, the matchups don't work for her. I, I don't think she makes it physically in the but league. But what about like uh, Isaiah Thomas? He made it in the league. Yeah, but Isaiah Thomas is stronger than Caitlin Clark. You're probably right. So, I, I mean, yes. When you give me that player comp, like maybe. Would, do you think she deserves a shot potentially? I'd like to see her play a game. I would love to. I would love to see her play a that game, see, awesome. what she, see what she could do. She's not going to go scoreless. She's not going like shut out, no. shut down. If she gets five shots up, she's making at least one. Yeah. At least. Oh, that's a tough question. I know. You ask some very good questions. Well, she got offered time. by the Big Three League. Ice yeah, Cubes but league. the Big Three League, five she, she'd do very well in. Yeah, but that's retired NBA players like Joe Johnson. Retired. No, Joe Johnson can still ball. He can still ball. Yeah, but they're not playing the same defense in that no, league. it's three on three. Yeah. Dave Portnoy offered her 10 mil to play in his rec league. Really? Yeah. I don't think she's going to do that. <laughs> <don't> $10 <laughs> million do is anything. a lot of freaking money. No, it's a great debate. I, I, I'd i have to really think about it. Um, I like the Isaiah Thomas comp that you gave. And someone like Nate Robinson was much shorter and Nate still Robinson's thrived kind of and had a career. Though. Yeah, but he, yeah. So like strength-wise, I think it's a big uh, component to it. 
I think if you sign her to your team and use her strategically in like moments where you need some big shots, some threes, put her in for like a minute or two, just let her run the court. Yeah. I think that could be beneficial. And and she could definitely dribble the ball around and like get around stuff. I'm just 100%. worried about the physical component of it. Me too. And like, you know, if you got somebody who's six four up yeah. in your grill that or is seven that strong. Four. Yeah. If you have Kevin Durant on you, Giannis on you, it's not gonna go down well. No. Yeah, no. Caitlin but Clark she versus Giannis. Cross that, she could probably cross him up. Yeah. But they have to get physical. If you're physical with their Yeah. That's forget it. Yeah. Well, there's no there's no rules saying that you can't. Really? Yeah. So a woman can join Oh, the really? Sport of the NBA, I think. The worst team in the NBA should just the Pistons. put her on. Draft her. Why yeah. not? At least the views will go up. Yeah. 10 day contract. See at what least, she does. At least Maybe she'll, she'll help. Views. It'll help social. <laughs> well, for sure. Um, okay. I have a topic relating to sports as well. And we did this a little bit last time and we're going to do it again. Let's do it. Can you guess the five teams who have made the NBA finals but never won? Ooh. So last time you did the teams that never made it to the finals. Now we're going through the teams that have made it to the NBA finals, but they didn't win. There's five of them. Did the New Jersey Nets make it? The Nets made it and they yep. didn't win. That's one of the teams. With Vince Carter, Jason Kidd, Richard Jefferson? I think they did it prior to Vince Carter, oh. but I'm not complete. Yeah, I think it was prior to. It was the Kenyon okay. Martin, Richard Jefferson, Jason Kidd. I'm pretty, Kerry Kittles. Oh, Kerry Kittles. Oh, that was a good era. Barely watched those. Bokey so, Knockbar. Yeah. No, that was after. That was after. Bokey, Bokey is my boy. <laughs> Number seven. Um, I think that the Suns made it. And didn't win? Yeah. You'd be correct. That's another one. The Suns made it. Steve with Nash Steve Nash, but they didn't win. He never got that ring. He deserves a it's ring. It's tough for point guards to win championships without He was a terrible point. coach. Great player, <laughs> terrible coach. My favorite player of all time. Terrible coach. It's crazy how that works because he was basically a coach when playing. I know. I mean, he come in the, and... With some of the three best players in the league. And I just, don't get me started. Um... All right, let me think here. Are these like recent years here? What? What? Uh, that they made it? Yeah. Or no? You don't have. I years? would say no. <laughs> I'm looking up NBA teams. Hold on. Do you want like a, a timeline for when they were? Because they were all kind of within a similar time period. Sure. Um, I would say like the 90s. The was, 90s. wasn't good. Uh, if I had to say late 80s. What about 90s? Maybe early 2000s. Can I get the Pacers? Um, Pacers are there too. Wow. Yes, so, so, so you got three. Going. You have a sweep going. You have a sweep going. Oh my I want to say one of these teams was um, in the 2000s. Or the 2000s. Yeah, but... but ooh, don't, ooh. Are the Magic on there? The Magic are on there. I'm thinking it's the Dwight Howard team, right? <sighs> it's got that's, Dwight that's, Howard. Or Shaq. He do Turkaloo. Or Shaq. That's what I thought. That's why I said 2000s. And oh, oh, man, 90s. I feel good. This is a sweep word. Shaq came in. Wow. Yeah, you got one more. You got one more left. I'm nervous. You know what's funny is you mentioned this team last week. And I told you, I said, think about it, because you had it wrong. Oh, did I? was I? like, of course, of course <gasps> they made it. What you got? Wait, 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 wait. Did I confuse you? No. Don't let yeah, me confuse you. because the Mavericks won with Dirk. You need one more for the sweep. Okay. It's not the Mavericks. It's not the Ro- Rockets. Is it the Grizzlies? It's not the Pelicans. It's not the Spurs. No, those <laughs> those were... Could be the Grizzlies. Not Well, the Suns are on here. Not the Lakers. Clippers? I think the Grizzlies were on the list last week. Yeah, they were. You're saying they were on the la- list last week? I thought they were. You're saying this team is on the list last week? No. So it's not the Grizzlies. <laughs> That's what I'm, t- I'm telling oh. you. <laughs> I'm helping you out. It's I'm not the your- Thunder. I'm in between two teams here. Yeah? Is it the Hawks? It's not the Hawks. You didn't complete is the Is it sweep. the Jazz? It's the Jazz. Oh, my God. Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Who's the other guy? I should have got Who's that. the point guard? John Stockton. John Stockton. <laughs> I, that was the other team. Why did I choose the Hawks? I don't know why you chose the Hawks. I don't know why you went there. It was so dumb. Was I was literally going to say the Jazz. A little dumb. A little dumb. Very dumb. Damn, that sucks, but. It's okay. Those All are right. the five. Well, I have one more topic for us. Okay. You have one or a couple? I have a couple, but I could. All right. Um, okay, so we always do this topic in game time, and people love it on our channel on the short form, so I'm going to bring it to the long form. How many of these would it take to kill you? Oh, yeah. Energy drinks. Probably not a lot. How many? I'm going to say maybe eight. Eight? eight? Yeah, because I think they... I'm not going to say I could do eight, but... You can't drink eight. You don't think I could drink Let's eight? Let's go 28. You don't think I could drink eight? No. Don't do it. That That's so much caffeine. That's not good. 28. 52, 52 energy drinks. I don't know. I feel like if... Do you think you would just implode? I don't... What would happen? <laughs> you, you turn radioactive. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, what about beer? How many pints of beer? So pints are bigger. Yeah, 16 ounces. 20. I don't, and I don't believe this one. Okay, 78. No, well, <laughs> it would kill you, yeah. but it's less than that. Okay. You want another guess? 39. No, apparently 20 pints. 20 pints? I don't believe that, though. 
think it depends what's going on. I think this is for the average person. Right? Didn't Wade Boggs drink like a yeah, hundred beers? That's why I said this is the average person. <laughs> Same with uh, Andre the Giant drank like a hundred on a plane yeah. too. Yeah, but no, it's twenty pints apparently. I feel like that's doable. I don't know. No, it's probably not. Yeah, pints is a lot because you're talking every three beers is basically. How four. many pints do you think you could drink? Every three beers is four. Most so. before like passing out. I think I could do like twelve. That's what I was gonna say. Twelve, thirteen. That's pushing it. So think about almost twice the amount of that. It's, it's a yeah. lot. Yeah. All right. What about time without sleeping? How many hours? Or sorry, how many days? I think you could only you go like four days without like sleeping. After, after four or what? five, go let's go five crazy? days. Go a five, no, I think Loco? You're, I think your system off like, the walls shuts bananas. Down. Yeah, off the walls bananas. Your your system doesn't know how to react with it. So you think four days? Yeah, I think four. Eleven days. days. Eleven. That's a long time. Yeah. That is a very long time. I can't I even make it through one day. I think I could stay up for like two days. That's it. Yeah. Max. Even after that, it really? used to be so cool pulling an all nighter. I know. I never really did it though. Like, I did it a few I always times. like felt, but then you sleep at like nine a.m. So yeah. It doesn't really count. Punches from Mike Tyson. One, you're correct. If you just <laughs> if, you, if you get one good solid punch yeah. from Mike Mike Tyson, a clean punch to the face clean. or the jejunum. <laughs> what movie? Did uh, semi pro? Yes. Did you watch uh, Jake Paul punch uh, someone that guy in yes. the stomach? Who Six was nine. It? Low was pump. It? Low pump. Yes. Little pump did not no, he take that well. <laughs> fell straight on the ground. Yeah, but one punch will kill you. Yeah. I believe that. Do you think Jake Paul might die in the ring? <laughs> Potentially. Um, octopuses. Is it octopuses or octopi? I thought it would be octopi. Yeah, but the website said octopus. I'm allergic. I can't eat it. Okay. <laughs> well, how many? No, I'm saying how many would it take to kill you, like not eating it wise? Oh, oh. Like killing, like strangling you or something. I don't know how they would do it. Two. Apparently three. Three. You take on three. How big are you? You can't take on three because they could, if they get in your mouth. <laughs> I've actually had octopus. It's very good. You'll go into anaphylactic shock. Yeah. No, not not really, but eh, um, they're would. dangerous. The The giant squid's the most well, dangerous. Octopus, not a giant squid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure one giant squid would take you down. What about giraffes? Yeah. The neck. I can't. My neck's never just, been the same. It's just hard. like what else? What other than that are they gonna do? No, they're stampede. scary, man. They're tall. They could stampede you. They could kick you. How many would it take to kill you? Four, five, oh, five. Very close. Yeah. What would, what, they would stampede or go? They, What's your attack down? against a giraffe? What are you doing? Taking break out the, the legs? legs? Yeah, break the legs. They're thin. Karate chop. They're thin. They're probably would, really not. You'd that have thin. to drop kick them, but you'd have to get one leg per giraffe, right? To immobilize. <laughs> I, guess, I guess so. Take uh, it out. I would take over one of the giraffes and use it against. It? Yeah. But yeah, you're not getting up that. Tail. Grab the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoons. Raccoons are. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly the thought they're I have. Gross. Yeah. They're kind of. Sorry, raccoons. <laughs> they're terrifying. Yeah. Um, I was in my hot tub once. It came up to the hot tub. Oh, really? He I was, was hanging out there? so scared. 10. I unloaded the water on him. 10. Uh, 11 raccoons would mm-hmm, kill you. That was a pretty good guess. Yeah. Have you thought about that before? No. I just figured how many I could take on at once. They're all coming <sighs> at me. And <sighs> you could shed a few <sighs> off, but once you got too many, they come on the face. Oh. Too much. Oh. Penguins. Penguins. Yeah. Uh, penguins, they, penguins. They're like... They, they have like, no attack. They don't have any their, attack. Their attack rating is like they're a like 10 magic out of 100. Um, like magic Harp. 50. Wow. 95. 95, yeah. You, I could take on you a million penguins. would suffocate you? Probably. You think you can take? You think you could defeat more penguins than you can toddlers? Yeah. Penguins toddlers. aren't doing anything. <laughs> Pen- they're, they're pecking. They, they don't have nothing. They could peck. Nothing. I'm kicking. They kicking the penguins. <laughs> what about fish? Mm. Just regular fish. Regular fish, or like a school of fish. You're in the ocean. One fish. One fish. Are you gonna, is you gonna die by one fish? Six hundred. No. They're not doing anything. Apparently 20,000 fish. 20,000. Yeah. They, they can't do anything. So the only way is that 20,000 fish can keep you down because oh, you can't get through the oh, fish. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. 20,000. Not 19,000, though. A ton of fish. That would be really, really <laughs> scary. You have a car. I do have a car. I have a car. How many times do you lock your car when you walk away from it? Two. Two? Are you asking me this because you know that I lock no, it? No, no. I have no idea. I lock it sometimes like eight times. I have OCD. Well, so I used to have to lock it four times. Okay. So I would go one, two. So it would go beep, beep. And then I do it again. Beep, beep. 
So it used to be four. I've changed it to two because my dad said it was really annoying. <laughs> he said, why do you lock the car so much? And I say, I don't know. Well, you never really know if it's locked, right? You never know if the button yeah. works. I'll still go to four sometimes. I'll so still go four. four. Just in case. No, because those are two. I lock it as soon as I get out, two. And then sometimes I forget if I locked it. So I'll lock it again. I use the hand lock thing. So like if I put, if I put my hand above the handle, my car locks. That's weird. And then I do it an additional time. Uh, so you and do then one? sometimes I do a third time. So I count go, that as three. I count the the handle lock and then okay. I go two remote locks. And then if I'm speculative, mm. I go another four. You know why I go two? I go two for my non-OCD reason. I go two because the first time it doesn't beep. It just locks. And then oh. the second time it beeps. Oh, so you like to so hear I a go, beep. I like to hear the beep. Mm. Just for you, Is it like a rapid, quick, quick It's touch. like beep, beep. Oh. It's not like... Yeah, it's not like a machine gun. Do you lock the car more often when you're like someone's near your car as you walk away from it? No. <laughs> like I was walking in the direction Just to make them known. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, that car's locked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was walking in the direction of this car. I wasn't like right at it. It was just on the street while I was on the sidewalk. This guy, I swear to God, locked the car 12 times. <laughs> like I, he saw me, locked it. And then as I walked past him, it was already at like six times. And then did it like another six after I walked past. You're a hostile figure. I was like, what are people doing? Yeah. Do I look dangerous? Yeah. Without the through. hat, you kind of do. Relax. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking of just taking it. What? Debating. Just shaving just the whole shaving thing? shaving it off. Forever? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> We're close. No, you know what? I got to make close. it. I got to make it through the rest of my supply because they just sent me five more months worth oh just oh, so, so we'll give five it, months we'll give it five more months all right so 40 podcasts later you might be bald i think before then i think i'm gonna buzz a zero and see how it looks because right now i do a one let me see when i cut it down it, look, it looks fine zach it looks fine yeah why do you worry about maybe it? maybe it's because i had a hat on all day yesterday it, it no i'm telling you the receding hairline is a factor of the hat Oh yeah, I'm telling you. No, so I've been you taking just the hat stop off. wearing hats. Well, I've been taking the hat off. Take it more off. Often. No, no. Take it off for the rest of the podcast. No, no. no Take it off. No, no. They already saw it. That's okay. Audio it's listeners right. can't hear it's it. Audio. Everything can't see it. Can't see um, it. Can't hear it. Interesting. Either. Interesting. 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 Okay. Um, two more things. I'll just run. Uh, maybe I'll do one more. All right, do one Who more. wants one more thing? Who wants them? Me. Like the video if you want one more thing. Like the video and comment. Uh, We're waiting. What holiday has the best candy? Oh, baby. Well, Halloween is just every candy, no? Halloween's every candy. Does that not count? I don't know, because something hits different about Easter. I like Easter. You get a candy. lot of Easter chocolates, no, the like, chocolate th- bunnies. Well, what are the... Oh, Valentine's then, Day. Valentine's All the candy's Day? the same, though. Valentine's Day, you get a lot of the richer chocolates. You get a lot of good stuff in there. And then Christmas, people are filling the stockings with candy. I go Easter. You're going to go Easter? Yeah, because the Cadbury eggs. You're going to go over Halloween. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I am because the Easter candy is more special. That's more customized. Yeah. Like Halloween, what do we have? The Reese's pumpkins? They don't even look like pumpkins. No, they don't have anything outside of the year that you could. There's no specialty to it. No. You could get those candies at any time Easter of year. Easter bunnies, Easter eggs. I like. I love them. Peeps. Easter bunnies are very good. <sighs> peeps are horrible. Ooh, peeps. Peeps and candy corn is a good matchup though. Candy corn sweeps peeps. <laughs> oh yeah. Sweeps. Peeps. Oh yeah. Peeps, peeps are, are horrible. They're really bad. My mom likes them. Oh yeah. I get on her. Every Easter. <laughs> like, why do you like these things? That's a little tough. What about your birthday? Do you get candy for your birthday? I actually got Reese's. Yeah. That's just not. That's just a normal candy. Just normal candy. I don't know. I was thinking of holidays. It's President's Day, Flag Day. I don't get candy for those. <laughs> Fourth of July. Thanksgiving. Well, I brought in food. So like what, ho- what holiday has the best food? Oh, baby. Like, are you, you know, thinking Thanksgiving? Are you thinking, are you taking Christmas? Because like you, like I get a little bit more, better food on Christmas well, than Thanksgiving. Immediate, yeah. Immediately, I think of Thanksgiving just because it's known for food, but it doesn't have the best. I like Christmas because we go steak every year. That's what we do. We do like but fillets. But then again, like food on 4th of July is just barbecue food. That's like very, summer barbecue very food. Very good. I wasn't even thinking about like, that. I it's might very just good. go... I love a steak dinner, but I think I love barbecue food being outside on a beach near a boat, wherever. The whole vibe and setting is just better. The vibe makes the food better. So I'm going to go 4th of July. It's a wild card. I'm taking 4th of July over Thanksgiving I and, think so. and Christmas. Yeah. I'd rather, like, I think, I, and it doesn't really factor into the food, but the vibe just makes the food that much better. Eating food outside is better than being stuck inside eating food. Inside's... Outside is always better than inside. In every when, aspect. Whenever they Besides ask Besides when there's like a tsunami, hurricane, tornado, <laughs> a volcanic eruption. Yeah. Or uh, an eclipse. Any, any, the eclipse was 
Pretty so lame. overhyped. <laughs> now, I don't want to say overhyped because it's pretty cool if you were on the totality curve. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'm protecting myself. Oh, it was. It was. Nothing really happened here. It really did it. Um, but elsewhere, it would. All right. That wraps us up. Podcast That's 74. Another podcast. podcast 74. Wow. We're going to hit yeah, three quarters of a way to 100. Wow. What are we going to do for 100? Next episode. Uh, Get a tattoo? No, wait. What did I say I was going to do for 100? Get a tattoo. No, no, no. No, you no. said that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Skydive? I said I was going to do something. No, I'm not skydiving. Why do you do this to Do me? a bald podcast, you said, I think. Oh, maybe I did say that. That might have been it. That's not that exciting. That's not that Let's exciting. Let's just get a tattoo. Yeah. I was thinking of showing up one day, just eyebrow shaved, <laughs> head shaved, and just come. We should I bleach just, our hair. That would, I feel like I actually might pull it off. You don't have hair, so. <laughs> it's coming back. Bleach it's your coming beard. back. That would be weird. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have said eyebrows, hair, and shaved the beard. Just came in looking like a, a thumb. <laughs> Are <laughs> you going to do it? Comment down below what we should do for podcast 100, which will be in like two months, three months. So 20 months no it's like half a year at the end of summer well we'll see if we do more uh podcasts per yeah. week sometimes because we yeah, had an, a, an additional one this week yeah um i like the bonus episodes but that's a wrap for podcast 74 we're super excited um for all the things we got upcoming more content more videos <sighs> yeah. more laughs more fun <laughs> that's a wrap that so weird. <laughs>